everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some really, really exciting news to share with you guys. I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> today I'm gonna be showing you guys my brand new custom saddle. I've been waiting so long for this to arrive, so I'm really, really excited to open it and get to show you guys. Before I tell you the backstory and everything, I'm just gonna show you, because you're probably wanting to see what I got. So this is what the box looks like. Oh. Okay, so. It says Merci. And this paper just says how to maintain like your tag. Here it is. I actually opened the saddle yesterday to look at it when it first arrived and I ordered a bridle with it and it came with like a tack cleaning set and I thought it just wasn't shipped yet. I had nowhere to put the saddle to show you guys. So I took this I took the saddle stand out of the box and I realized my bridle and everything was just under it. So I'm really excited about that. I haven't opened those because I didn't even know they were there. You ready for the reveal? <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. For those of you who are interested, I'm going to tell you a bit about the saddle. So this is a CWD 2Gs. And the classic 2G's normally has carbon fiber um, here on the flap and on the back of the seat. I ordered mine with a flat flap without any carbon fiber, so it's just the leather. And then it has a leather cover here. And the reason I ordered it without the carbon fiber is just because I found that for me, the carbon fiber on the flap just didn't suit me personally um, in the way I ride or just the way I'm built. I got mine with ivory touches here and there. It took me forever to decide on a color because they can do pretty much any color. At first I just wanted regular brown like leather so it would be like the rest of the saddle. But then I decided last minute to get ivory and I'm really happy I did because I love how it looks. And this is a 17 inch seat and I got a 1L flap because I'm short and it just fit me the best. I'm just going to turn it around to the other side of the saddle and I ordered mine in full calfskin. And here's the nameplate. I just got it with my full name. These are the specs of this saddle if you're interested. Now I'm gonna open up the bridle and reins that I didn't even know were in here. Also got this. I came with the saddle. I think it's just a tack care kit. So it has a sponge. Next there's a leather soap, conditioner. I guess it's like, um a mitt thing for buffing it out and some other kind of sponge. <laughs> Love how it comes in a little bag. That's really easy to bring around with you. So excited to see this bridle. For a really long time now I've wanted to get out a nice bridle and it was just the perfect timing to get it with my saddle. Okay. It's so pretty. This is what the bridle looks like. And I got the one with the wide crown piece. I believe this is the anatomical bridle with a French nose band. These are the reins that I got. These are the rounded braided reins. So all along the top part, it's just braided leather. And then here is raised and fancy stitch. Honestly, I'm so excited to try out this tack on Aqualina. So now I'm gonna start talking about how I ended up with this saddle and why this saddle specifically. I started my saddle hunt a long, long time ago. I think I started it last summer because I was noticing my previous saddle, which was a Harry Dabs, didn't fit Aquilina anymore. It was really tight in her right shoulder and it was just putting a lot of pressure on her and I think that was making her off. So I needed a new saddle, obviously. So then I started my saddle hunt. I've always really wanted a CWD saddle but I never thought I would actually be able to get one. I started trying saddles, and the first saddle that I tried was actually a CWD 2Gs. It was used, 
and it was pretty similar to this one. It was an older model and it had a 2L flap, which just means it was longer and it had carbon fiber on the flap here. So we actually bought that saddle and I really liked it. I actually have a video on my channel when I bought it because I was so excited about it. But then later that month, about three weeks later, I was realizing that it didn't fit me as well as it could. So we had to start looking at other options. We basically returned that saddle and we started looking. I tried a lot of saddles. I tried a few Butes. I tried a Bruno. I um, We almost bought one of the Butes, but it just wasn't quite what I wanted. So we went back to CWD and wanted to try a different flap that would fit me better. My leg was just moving a bit too much in the other one because it was too long and the carbon fiber was pushing my leg a bit for some reason. So first we tried a, we tried a classic, a CWD classic with a 2C flap and the angle of the flap just wasn't working for me. So then we tried a saddle really similar to this one, but it was a demo. It was a 1L flap, which is what this is, and that was working really well. Like, my leg was staying still in it. We decided it was the best option because it fit me well. And the reason I love the 2G saddles is because the tree is made out of carbon fiber. So he was showing us, but they basically move and it gives her a lot more freedom if she were to grow or something or every time she moves, it just moves with the horse, which I thought was super cool. So at the beginning of October, I ordered this saddle, finally got it and I'm so happy with it. I really love it. I so can't wait to try it out. I'm so grateful I was able to get the saddle. I literally never thought it was possible I could get um, this saddle because I've wanted it for such a long time. So I just wanted to jump in here and give a little update. Since filming this video, I've ridden in the saddle a few times and it's perfect. As soon as I put it on Aquilina, it fit her right away. It was super well balanced on her and then I got on and it made me feel really, really secure. It's brand new, so obviously it's not broken in at all yet, but it was still super comfortable to ride in. That's it for today's video. Make sure you stay tuned. So click the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.